Hello everyone and welcome to the class. This is David A. Cox with PCClassesOnline.com and today I'm going to be teaching you how to create a, a portable USB, whether it's a flash drive or a hard drive, installable copy of the Mac operating system Yosemite. Now I taught this class about a year ago uh, for Mavericks and uh, some people seem to have some trouble following all the steps. There are quite, you know, a decent amount of steps. I'm going to really try to take the pacing down a notch today uh, just to make it as simple as possible to follow along. So let's talk first about the things that you're going to need to be able to do this. Now you can use either a flash drive or you can also use a hard drive. Uh, would probably make more sense in this case for this particular uh, type of installation to use a flash drive. Now the one that I'm actually using today to demonstrate this is not the one that I recommend. You will find links to the various flash drives that I recommend in the description of the video. They're all under $10 so they're really inexpensive and what's nice is that they're USB 3.0 flash drive. So they're going to work a lot faster uh, in terms of installing. Also the process of uh, creating this bootable file uh, is going to also be a lot faster than it will be for me. But thankfully I have editing. So uh, we're going to get started here today. Uh, the first thing I need to make a quick mention of is that in the process of doing this, if you have any other data that is on that flash drive, you are going to wipe it out. So I am not responsible if you make a big mistake at this point. So please, please make sure that there is nothing on that flash drive. Before we begin, I do want to just kind of verify that you have the right kind of flash drive, that it's uh, f configured for Mac, because that is important. So uh, before we really get started, let's just verify that. So you can see I have mine, Just I just called it USB flash, because in the process of doing this, it's going to get renamed anyway. And what you want to do is go into Spotlight and go to Disk Utility. Just type in the word disk, it should pop up there. Uh, you'll see it here, and you want to click on the upper one. So in my case, this is the 16 gigabyte, let's see, I'm a key. It's called that because it looks like a key. Uh, go over here to partition, change it from current to one partition. You can call it whatever you want. Like I said, it's going to get renamed in the process, so it really doesn't matter. Make sure the format is set to Mac OS Extended Journaled. And also, make sure here under Options at the bottom, make sure it's set to this top option, GUID Partition Table. Hit OK. When you hit Apply, it won't take more than a few seconds to uh, format the drive, so let's hit Partition. And at that point, when it's done, let's see, yeah, about probably five to eight seconds to do this whole process. Should be finished in just a sec. I love when it makes a liar out of me. Okay, maybe it's more like 10 seconds. Okay, there we go. There we go. Not too bad. So what we're going to do is we're going to quit out of Disk Utility. Now the next thing you need to do, if you haven't already done so, is you do need to download one copy of Yosemite. So if you've already purchased it, if you already have it, and you're doing this sort of to have as a backup, uh, go to the Apple icon and go to the App Store. If you've never downloaded Yosemite, you'll see right on the front page, it's usually right over here on the right-hand side, OS 10 Yosemite. You can click there. Otherwise, if you have actually already downloaded it, go under Purchased, and you'll see it right here. Now, this file is pretty big, okay? Um, it's about, as of today's date, it's a 5.17 gigabyte file. But what Apple does uh, with this is that they're constantly updating that file. So if you download that same file in five months, it's going to be a different size. So don't listen to how, long, how big the file is. Just go based on the date. Um, and if you did this a while back, it might be a good idea to do it again. That way you're getting the most recent updated copy of Yosemite possible. Um, without having to run additional updates, that is. So once you've downloaded it, uh, it's going to go into your Applications folder. So let's go to Finder, let's go to Applications, and here it is right here. Despite what you might think, it is not going to be under Y, should you arrange your apps by alphabetical order. It's going to be under I, Install OS 10 Yosemite. So next step is we need to secondary click on this, and we're going to go into Show Package Contents. In case you don't know how to secondary click, you can always hold the control key and click, and it'll get this additional list of items. Go into Show Package Contents, double click on Contents. Next, we're going to go and double click on Shared Support. And this right here is sort of the file. There's a little bit more 
to do from here. Uh, but what we're going to do at this point is we're going to double click on it in order to mount it locally. So double click, it's going to verify it. Don't hit skip, just let it do its thing. Didn't take that long. Now, the next part is going to be the part that's going to scare a few people out there, but don't worry, it's not that scary. We're going to have to go into Terminal and tell Terminal to reveal files that are right now hidden from view. So what I'm going to do is if you go into the description of this video, so for those of you who are viewing this on PC Classes Online, you are going to find this information just beneath the video. And for those of you who are watching on YouTube, just beneath the video, there's a little button that says Show More, and that'll give you kind of my notes, which also includes products that I recommend. Um, but it's going to give you the code that you're going to need to copy to your clipboard. Uh, that code starts with the word defaults, plural, and ends with the word finder. So copy that to your clipboard, and we're going to go into terminal. Easy way to get there, go once again to Spotlight, type in T-E-R-M, and hit Enter. And that launches terminal. From here, we're going to paste, that is of course Command V, as in Victor, and hit Enter, and watch what happens. So when you do that, you can quit out of Terminal. We're going to come back to Terminal at the very, very end just to rehide those files. But now, check out what's here. This is the actual installable copy, base system.dmg. So now what we're going to have to do is tell the computer to basically clone this file here to the flash drive. Next step, we're going to go back to where we started. We're going to go back into Disk Utility, D-I-S-K. Okay. And if you don't see base system here on the left-hand side, which I think is going to happen to probably most of you, watch this part very carefully. You're going to drag this kind of grayed out version of base system, drag it over here, and wait till you get that little blue line. See that right there? Then drop it right there. Otherwise, it'll just disappear. Perfect. Okay, so now we've got that. We're going to click on base system. Make sure that you're here under the restore tab to the right. Okay, and so it's asking where is the source of this file, which is base system.dmg, and where is it going to go? And that's where this puppy comes in. So we're going to grab our flash drive, whatever you may have named it, it doesn't matter, you can rename it later, and just drop it right there, okay, and click restore. This is going to be one of those parts where if you have a USB 3.0 drive, it's going to be a lot faster. So what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to pause the video, and when we come back, it will have just finished up. All right, folks, it just finished installing. Total time to uh, have that happen wasn't that bad. It was about four or five minutes. Um, so when it finished, it brought this up, now called OS X Base System. Okay, there's a couple more steps that we need to go through. And one thing I want to mention before I do this is I really do actually take your feedback very seriously. So if you're able to follow all of this, if it works for you, leave us a little comment in the section below. I, I really want to make sure that I'm going at the right pace for all of you. That's important. So when you're done, there's still a few more steps that we have to do here. So bear with me here. We're going to scroll to the bottom of this, and you should see this little folder here called System. We need to go into System. From here, we need to go into Installation. And you'll see this little alias file for packages, okay? Uh, that doesn't point to the right place anymore. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to drag that to the trash, which you can either drag to the trash or you can do the fancy way like me and hit Command-Delete. Now what we need to do is we need to tell it where that file should be. So watch this. If you look here on the right-hand side of my screen, okay, remember this up here, this OS 10 base system, that's actually the flash drive, okay, and then we have the OS 10 install, okay. We need to go back in there, okay, uh, and let's go, and we have this folder here called packages, okay. What we need to do is copy that. And what we're going to do is we're just going to drag it to where that little alias used to be. Okay, so just this other window right here. Now, it's a big file. It's going to take a little bit. So once again, we're going to pause for a moment and come back in a minute. 
Uh, folks, we're actually still copying here at this point, but there is something else I wanted to show you that you can do at the same time uh, just to uh, save time later on. So uh, I'm going to try to make this as easy to follow as possible. So here at the top, once again, we have the OS X base system. That is actually the flash drive. I'm going to put this window here kind of off to the side on the left. And once again, OS X install ESD. I'm going to put that on the right. Uh, there's two other things we actually do need to copy here. Uh, the first is this one called base system dot chunk list. Okay, you need to copy this over here into the root folder. So just click on the file itself. You can hit you know, secondary click. Okay, you can copy it and just paste it over here into the root folder. I actually did this about a second ago, uh, and so I'm just yeah, it's already there. The other thing you have to do is this base system .dmg, okay, that also has to go over. So you can just copy that, okay, copy and paste it right here in the root folder. Uh, paste, there we go. Okay, so what we're going to do, it's going to take a while uh, to copy uh, this big file, this 4.7 gig file. So I'm going to pause the video and when we come back, we'll do the final two steps. All right, folks, it finally finished. I am now old and gray. That's the part where it's really going to benefit you to have a USB 3.0 drive. So now that we've done that, we can close out of both of these. Okay. Um, we can, let's see, uh, next we can actually, in, we can eject this OS 10 install ESD. We're done with that. So just drag that into the trash. Okay. And you're basically at this point good to go. Uh, if you want, you can rename this uh, just by clicking on it twice slowly, just like you'd rename anything. So we can call it, you know, Yosemite or whatever you want. Uh, there is one other thing, though, you are definitely going to want to do is there is a second piece of code you will find uh, in the description of this video, which you're going to need to write to terminal so that you now hide those files, like all of these you see here on my desktop now. Um, so go back into terminal. T E R. There we go. Paste that new code, which you'll find. I'm gonna basically what I'm gonna do is when I'm editing this video, I'm gonna have it be called code part one and then code part two. Um, so just that's part two. You'll see when I hit enter, everything disappeared. We are fine and dandy, and now you could plug this uh, into a Mac and you can boot from it and install it. That's about it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, please uh, leave me your comments in the section below. I want to make sure that it's working for everyone. If it's not working, I'll take the video down. And if there's a part that I can make clear, I will do my best to do so. Um, but I do, of course, appreciate your feedback. This is David A. Cox with PCClassesOnline.com. If you haven't checked out our website, please uh, make sure you do so. The other thing I'm going to mention, which I don't normally do in our videos, is uh, for whenever there's a big announcement or if there's some sort of a bug that's in a major update that's released to everyone, um, you might want to consider going to our website. Uh, and on the homepage, if you scroll towards the bottom, there's a little form that you can fill out to get on our newsletter list. We don't sell that information to anyone, but it's like if there's a major update or something that's a security risk, we'll e-blast all of our members, usually no more than once a month, uh, just to let them know that. So just thought I'd throw that out there. That's all for me, everyone. Class dismissed.